You think the own, what's the guy's name again? Dan what? Gilbert. Gilbert. You think Dan Gilbert would have been loyal to LeBron James if he sucked? He would have thrown him right out. LeBron James worked hard, delivered the goods. But you act like the South was happy to let the slaves go yeah, well, and gave him a pat on the back once they got well, rid of slavery. For once, I agree with Jesse Jackson, who uh, likened it to uh, slavery, and that the, the, this Dan character is a slave owner. Hey, what is this you leave in Massa? Fuck off. What a douche. They, they should be calling the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers a douchebag and a jackass. I mean, there's no other way to look at it. And, and what, I mean, well, the guy's a grown man. He made a decision, and he's a basketball player. Well, he can't play for every to team. Make it, how does he get uh, a prime time press conference to announce? It's a game he plays. Of course. It's ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, I thought that the guy was out of line when he called him a coward and stuff. A coward. But I think, I think that the. What's cowardly? Yeah, what I, is, how did, well, did he ever explain why he's cowardly? I think that what he's upset about is that, you know, that LeBron was with the team for a long time, and he, you know, they were, they were trying, they were negotiating. So. You know the the broadcast started at nine o'clock. Yes, I think he called. I think, but LeBron didn't hit the show till like nine fifteen. Right. I think they said at nine o four he called the Cavaliers to tell him he wasn't coming to them. And, and I'm I'm just saying. I guess the guy's rap is, hey, we were with you for a long time. You know, just mm. could, you could have given us more of a heads up. <laughs> mm. Well, what was, what this, what difference would that make? I mean, give me a break. It's LeBron James. He, he's he's a, 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 a guy. He's a worker. Don't get over it. I mean, gee whiz, and then this. The if owner? he came up lame, oh, if he came up lame, you think the 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 owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers is going to take care of him? No, sh no, sending him right out onto the f into the fields to pick the cotton. <laughs> gee, give me a fucking break! What an animal this guy is who owns the Cavaliers, and what a privileged life. Listen, obviously, if you own a a, a basketball franchise, you got a few shekels. You got a few shekels. Your life's pretty good. You'll get over it. He's a rich kid. Nothing bad ever happened to him. No. This is like blowing his mind. Oh, fucking scumbag bastard. Welcome to reality. Life doesn't always work out. I mean, what are you doing with this guy? I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that where LeBron lost a lot of points with people was the whole special. Listen. It, just, it just seemed like a big spectacle. Look, it was because everybody wanted to hear what he had to say. He yeah, wasn't so, creating. Okay, this so just thing. hold the press conference. Like, well, yeah. he, he did, in essence. He did it for an hour, and guess what? They got a lot of ratings. It was the highest rating. Well, yeah. LeBron James scores high in the TV ratings. I'll tell you what, 7.3 on the um, on that uh, dumb, dumb channel, ESPN. That's amazing did numbers. You, did right. you watch it, by the way? No. I've never, i got to tell you, Howard, never. I mean, he really ranks right up there with some of the most uncharismatic people <laughs> ever. The guy is dull as dirt. He doesn't right. And what happened was you could tell that a group of people got him together and gave him a bunch of stock answers. Because he repeated them a lot of times, right? You know, he, he kept was prepared. Yeah, he was very prepared, but he kept saying the same things. And like they'd ask him a question, and you could tell he couldn't answer the question. He would go, "Oh, that's answer number three. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like ordering a McDonald's. Do you have any doubts about your decision? Um, no, I don't have any doubts at all. Would you like to sleep on it a little longer? Or are you ready to make this decision? Uh, no, I've slept enough, or the lack of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not not of late. Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, this, this is very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. Why? Um, like I said before, um, I feel like it's, it's going to give me the best opportunity to, to win and to win for multiple years. Um, and not only just to win in a regular season or just to win um, five games in a row. Or well, whatever. He, is, he, he, he ain't known for speaking. Woof. And I, I, I had never heard him speak before. He's hey, much da more dazzling on the basketball court. Hey, Mike from Cleveland. Good. Hi, Mike. Hey, what's up? What's happening? What can I, to what can I talk to you about? Okay, about the LeBron James thing. You know, shame on him. Why, why is he sticking it up Cleveland's ass? I mean, we gave him everything he wanted. No. And kissed his ass. And Listen. And now he just smacks us in the face and leaves. Mike, it, 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 grow up. I mean, it's a business. This guy wants to play with certain players. It's his dream to win a championship. 
the Cleveland fans had him for uh, what is it, seven years or something, and right. uh, and that's it. He's not smacking anyone in the face. The guy's trying to do a business. Just think of him being held back for seven years. Yeah, I mean, he wants to do his uh, thing. He was loyal. He was he 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 entertained people. He he gave his all to the game. He could have taken the money and just ran. He uh, he was loyal, and then that's it. And then now he's got a new opportunity. I mean, get over it. It's it's crazy. Oh. And, People yeah, calling him a jackass. That, but I, mean, I understand. He had all the players he wanted. I mean, when he was the, there, the owner, the owner there, the, you should be mad at the owner. He didn't put together the proper team around LeBron. That's what you should be mad about. Somebody said to me that uh, during the Olympics, he played with these guys, Dwayne Wade and the other guy, Bosch, I think his name is, yeah. during the Olympics. And at that time, they said, you know, we had so much fun playing together. Like, when it's possible, let's all right. get on the same team. Right. That's what he wanted. That's it. So it's, uh, he, he wants that ring. And you know what? I get it. You know, I have a friend. Oh, I can understand that too. I have a friend who plays football. He was wearing his Super Bowl ring, and you know, I know it's a big deal. It's a big deal. He, you know what? And now, you know, I was in business. He's not in the sport game anymore. He didn't make a ton of money. And uh, the right. his thing when he wears that, all his fucking customers go berserk, and it's a it's a whole thing for him. It's it's important to the player. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'll... All right, Mike. And the owner is an asshole. I mean, Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, in a way, yeah, I'm not trying to get the right players. I agree there. He should have got a better players. And, Mike, bottom line. Out of Miami and all that, sure. Mike, bottom line, do you really give a fuck LeBron left? I mean, think about it. Get on with your life. Yeah, I can't believe that so many people were upset. Yeah. I mean, good Lord. Here's to the Cleveland. It's uh, not like the NBA is that big a deal. Believe me, for me, I am. I was so thrilled with the announcement. I didn't want him here in New York. And how dumb is it, you know, do these people feel who sat in a room, mm -hmm. all those stars? Remember they asked you to be on that oh, little committee? I wouldn't and do I, it. And I laughed when I saw the announcement because all these stars got in a room and begged him to come to well, New York. I, uh, I did a sanity check. They asked me and I said, listen, I don't, I'm not going to beg this guy to come to New York. I don't give a shit where he works. Quite frankly, it's better for me if he doesn't come here. If the Knicks continue to lose, I'll always get those courtside seats whenever I need them. This so well, that's a sad commentary on your uh, feeling about the team. Well, I like, I love the Knicks. I'm a diehard Knicks fan. You love a losing team. I do, because I love those seats, and I love sitting there. And someone from the Knicks called me and said, listen, you'll always be able to get those seats, even if LeBron came. I said, who knows? You want the guarantee. They're so happy when I show up at a Knicks game. You know, it's hard for them. By, by mid-season, not even mid-season, by a third of the season. Yeah. They're looking for me. <laughs> They're like, nobody comes. I said, don't worry, I'll be there. I love it. Let me. So, LeBron, good luck in Miami. You got every right to go there, and I'm not mad at you. And I'm, if anything, I think the asshole owner from Cleveland, is the Dan, asshole. Dan the is jacket. asshole of the day. There you go, asshole of the year. When someone interviews me and says, who's an asshole, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, here's a Larry King fans chanting that LeBron is an asshole. Mm. Speaking of Larry King, oh my God, I went off on him. That motherfucker. They got a hold of me. I was. Uh, Beth, Where were you? Well, <laughs> there's so much to talk about. Beth was on the cover of Hamptons Magazine. I don't want to get off LeBron because I have a couple other clips to play. All right, wait here. Wait, just hold the thought, Larry King. Larry King. All right, let me see if this clip is worth playing. Now let's get the sad reaction from Errol Porter. The sports director at SportsTalkCleveland.com at the Winking Lizard Tavern in Lakewood, Ohio, where there could be a couple of arrests tonight. <laughs> Errol, what? How would we describe the mood in Ohio? Hey, right now we got a lot of angry people here, Larry. And one thing that they think that the saying is they don't believe LeBron stayed, should have stayed, and took care of his business here. Unfinished business. Asshole. See you once again, and there's a lot of. Bad things that are happening behind me right now. Things are getting pulled off the wall. Everything LeBron is coming down. And we're a resilient city. Worst things that happen to us when it comes to sports. And we're going to bounce back as we always do. We know what it feels like to win. They should be chanting, we have no life. No life. Imagine going to the tavern. First of all, sitting in a tavern. I thought we have an unemployment problem. Sitting in a tavern drinking all night, yelling out asshole. You got to be out of your mind. People love to get together. Oh, my goodness. And do nothing. <laughs> Nonsense. And we're going to put a team together that's going to continue. 
Michael. <laughs> I'm not hearing them too clearly. Yeah. What was he saying? Why well, could you not be hearing them, Larry? Time to retire, asshole. He can't hear asshole. He can't hear asshole. You're calling him right. an asshole. They say they own that they own LeBron James. Right.